Well, let's continue and listen to the third assumption that is given for elevating Mary's status. Listen. And also in Luke's gospel, we see that when Simeon, you know, confronts her at the temple, he says, and a sword shall pierce your heart so that the sins of many, the, so that the inner thoughts of many might be revealed. So that she has a role there by her suffering and her heart being pierced to reveal the inner thoughts of many others. All right, here's a third assumption used to elevate Mary's status. It's found in Simeon's words to Mary when Jesus, Mary, and Joseph visited the temple. And you can judge for yourself whether you think Simeon's words are reason to elevate Mary's status. Luke tells us in chapter 2, verse 27 and on, When the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, This child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be spoken against, so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. Notice it is Jesus, not Mary, who will be the one that will cause the thoughts of many hearts to be revealed. All scholarly commentaries dealing with the Greek words in these verses will tell you this is the plain, clear meaning. Simeon's words to Mary give no biblical basis for elevating Mary's status.